it's a bootleg with Prescott on the move to his left. And his first pass is incomplete. That was an interesting look there because as soon as he got outside the pocket, I thought he was going to take off and run for yardage. But what often happens now with these quarterbacks who can move, defenses want to try and keep bodies in front of them. And I think that discouraged him from taking off and made him try a pass downfield that fell incomplete. Out to his left. And on the left sideline, he caught it, but out of bounds, according to the headlinesman. Incomplete. So the ball a little late getting there, and it's third down. Tough series for the passing game. Things just aren't clicking. Hopefully they can come through on this play and get this series back on track with a completion for enough yardage for a first down. Prescott, man open. That's complete to Dalton Schultz. And he will have a Cowboys first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. This looks like a free play for Prescott. And that one is knocked down, but I don't think it's going to matter. The defense looked like they jumped. Well, we looked at each other right when he flinched. We knew that that flag was coming. Yeah, offsides, easy call. Mark off the five and keep it moving. Now they'll try to take advantage of that offsides call. Here's first and five. Off play action to Elliott. Here's Prescott. He's got a man wide open, complete. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. It's a gain of 34. All right, Charles, let me put you in the head of one of those defenders out there. You have a big play like that go against you so early. What Does that shake your confidence? It shouldn't, but it often does because your thought process all during the week is how you're going to get after that offense and make your plays. And when they make one against you, it makes you a little bit hesitant. Time to regroup. And he's going to get this down near the 25. As a defense, you're more balanced when you're in zone coverage because you're able to keep your eyes on the quarterback and see the play develop in front of you. They're able to keep the quick pass in front of them and stop it right at the line of scrimmage. Now it's second and nine. To the air again, Prescott. Looking left side and he's got a man. That's Schultz. This will be a short gain of three before he's brought down at the 22. And the pocket's been protected pretty good here so far in the opening drive. We always talk about confidence in runners and catchers and quarterbacks. How about the protection detail? They're not allowing anyone near the guy throwing the football. Here comes the seventh play of this opening drive. They've moved it well, but here's third down. Off the play fake, Prescott. That's caught again by Schultz. And all the way down inside the five to the four. A terrific opening drive has them knocking on the door. First and goal, Elliott. Going to take this down just short of the goal line. He got three, but could not get the ball over the chalk. They'll try again with Elliott. And he will take it in for a Cowboy score. Ezekiel Elliott punching it in from a yard away. And the Cowboys will jump on top with the game's first score here this afternoon. Well, nothing fancy there, Charles. You had three tight ends on the field. They were going to run the football. The defense knew it, but the defense couldn't stop them. And I haven't met an offensive line yet that doesn't get more satisfaction. Oh, and now they're going to fake it. And he is not going to make it. They stop him up short, and this will remain a 6-0 ball game. So they went for two and failed. They didn't use him on the PAT, but now he boots this one away with a 6-0 lead. And here comes a return from a few steps into the end zone. And he returns this to the 22. Oh, 
Ravens will lead the Chiefs up first and 10 at their own 22. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. And that's going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. He did a fine job there of not hitting it before the ball arrived. And I've got to tell you, you can often mistime that play because of the angles of approach. When you're going to get him, sometimes you panic as well and think, I've got to be there right now. Instead, in this case, timed it perfectly and knocked it free. Here's Jarek McKinnon, his first carry of the ball game. And he's able to plow forward up to about the 29, just shy of the 30. They get seven out of that, so they're left with a third and three. Coming up here looking for three yards to pick up the first. And he'll be tackled about two yards shy of the line to gain. A one-yard pickup leads to fourth down. An ideal start defensively. They already have the touchdown. Now they get the stop. Just like they drew it up on the chalkboard. Does that sound dated? Right? Am I allowed to touch a little bit? <laughs> it's all right. All right, grease board, heck, computer, exactly what you want, though. Score on your first drive, stop them on the first drive defensively. So certainly an interesting call there to go for it. And it'll be a turnover on downs. So they take a big, big chance here in their own territory. And you think the coach may have some questions to answer? Yeah, and, you know, normally we focus on the media, right, the social media barrage that he's going to get for this one. How about on his own sideline and in his locker room? Because yeah. I think the team's going to look at him like, Coach, why would we go for it there? I mean, no confidence in the defense. You don't like the punter? I mean, what's going on here? You owe us some explanations. And that play stopped behind the line by a corner. Trent McDuffie getting in there. Six nothing, our score after one. Prescott off play action. Sliding out of the pocket. And he'll be taken down at about the 22-yard line. With a heavy set out there. Three tight ends in the formation for third and three. They play fake to Elliott. Now Prescott. Oh, that's into double coverage and intercepted. Picked off by Legereus Sneed. I think this will want to ride very simply because he overestimated his arm strength and his ability to fit it anywhere he wants to. A lot of quarterbacks do that and often pay the price. The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. They got the ball now following a big play, keeping the other guys out of the end zone. Now they'll start deep in their own territory, first and ten. The ball comes out. It's picked up by the Cowboys, and they have the football and will take over at the 24-yard line. After that play, I think we know one quarterback will be extremely happy if his defense can hold the opposing team to a field goal here. A first down carry by Elliott. And a short gain here, down to the 22. Here's second and nine, just a yard on that last run. Again, it's Elliott. And he'll go out of bounds in the red zone, just inside the 20. It's a four-yard pickup there, and it leaves him with third and five. Well, they didn't get a whole lot out of that one, but I think you've got to continue to try and run and try and keep the defense honest. You mean or else he'll just sit back, dare you to throw it on every down? Yeah, you get your quarterback hit a lot that way, too. He rifles one that's intercepted. 
And the Chiefs are going to take over here at their own 22-yard line. And as we've seen, points have been precious so far, and they just threw something away on that snap. And look, let's face it, as we advance further into this game, that play will be on the minds of everyone who's watching it. They wonder if this is the turning point. Is this the spot where those points were given away? It could cost them a ball game. And this one caught by Travis Kelsey. And he takes this up to the 40-yard line before being corralled. So quickly, all the way up at the 40-yard line. Throwing now is Mahomes. Now he'll dump it underneath to his running back, complete. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and 10. From midfield, here's Mahomes. Looking downfield for Kelsey. And a double coverage, and it's intercepted. And the Cowboys are going to get it back here just shy of the 20. I know it appeared he was saying, hey, give me the football, I'm open, but I don't know if that's a pass that he should have thrown there. Well, I don't think we've ever met a wide receiver that doesn't think he is open or is about to be open. <laughs> True. So when you throw your hand up in the air and tell your quarterback, hey, I'm available, he's trusting that you are. In this case, he was not, and it turned into disaster for them. Dak dropping this one off for Zeke. A lot of work to get away and outside of the pocket, but no actual yardage there on the catch. It's second down. He's coming, he's coming, he's coming. We've got double, double. And we've hit the two-minute mark in this first half of action. Here's second and ten. Now Prescott. Over the middle, complete. That's Schultz. And way up past the 35 before he's taken down. On first and 10, Prescott. Forced out to his left. And he's able to get this one out closer to midfield across the 45. He'll get eight on the scramble there. It'll be second and a couple. Prescott. He'll buy some time right. And that'll be incomplete. Took a pretty good shot as he tried to pull that one in. Couldn't hang on third down. After the incompletion, here now, third and two. They'll try and run for it with Elliott. And he will have the first down as he's brought down up near midfield. Two first downs have him up near midfield now on first and ten. Throwing, Prescott. And for the third time here in this half, it's intercepted. Picked off by Leo Chanel. And the Chiefs will have solid field position here as they take over at their 45-yard line. Well, I'm not sure that the wheels, Charles, are coming completely off, but they're shaking a little bit. That's three interceptions and now interceptions here on back-to-back -back drives. And I think about what a Hall of Fame coach told me that he always told his teams, when a mistake happens, just move on to the next play. Let it go. Hard to do when you throw in this many interceptions. That's exactly the attitude that has to be adopted. Flush to his right. He's going to fire one corner of the end zone. Oh, you saw that one coming. It's intercepted, thrown back across his body. Picked up by Trayvon Diggs. And the Cowboys are going to get this back to their own 34-yard line. Well, Charles, you got a quarterback out of the pocket, try to make a play, and you get it, but instead he ends up throwing it to the other team. And, partners, we know to be successful in this league, number one, you're going to have to be able to make plays on the perimeter or when the pocket breaks down. But number two, you've got to make smart decisions with the football. And that time, that simply was not a smart decision. Now the Cowboys are going to burn the first of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 18 seconds to go in the first half. Looking to throw again on second down. Prescott, left side to Lamb. And he's going to be taken down right at the 40-yard line. 
He's got his first catch here before halftime, and it goes for a first down. Now a timeout taken. Perhaps a chance for one more quick play and then another timeout if they hurry. We'll see. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. Prescott to throw it. It's complete here to T.Y. Hilton. And the timeout comes in with two seconds remaining. So they can trot out the field goal unit for the try before we hit the lockers. Scott. And he's got his big tight end over the middle, complete. And the Cowboys are going to have a first and goal coming up as the tackle made at the three-yard line. So we've hit intermission. It's halftime. This is the NFL, and it's a presentation of EA Sports. It'll be the Chiefs football to begin quarter number three, and they trail here as we are back underway now on EA Sports. The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. Charles, it'll be interesting to see what adjustments this offense made in the locker room. Haven't really been able to get anything going offensively. Virtually nothing in the ground attack either. So certainly something has to change here in quarter three. And I'm pretty sure their friends from the defensive side of the ball told them exactly that because those guys, the stop troops, they've been playing pretty well. and They've kept them around in this game. Now they've got some time. The running game struggled in the first half. Opposition knows how to focus on defending the pass here. They've got to re-energize that ground game and maybe open things up for a comeback here in this half. Defensive end, Demarcus Lawrence applied the heat. Well, if an offense is going to throw the ball in this part of the field, any pass rusher will tell you that's his favorite part. Gets a chance to get after the quarterback. It's almost like a reverse red zone. They can create points using their defense, and this time they take their man down. Eluding the pressure right. And this one is incomplete. The goal is certainly to try and make a big play happen and climb back into this game, but you have to be careful. If you overdo it, you could turn it over and hurt your team. On third and long, it's Mahomes rolling to his right. And he will not be able to hang on through the contact. It's incomplete. The coverage strong, and now it's fourth down. His impatience has to be bubbling over, trying to find a way to get his team to the end zone for the first time. He did find a way to break contain and get outside to buy his receivers a little extra time, but the connection couldn't be made on that throw. On is the punter Townsend as he gets this one away. punt of 38 yards officially and the Cowboys are going to take over in great position here with a first and 10. Prescott on first down. And a high throw there as this is knocked away down to the ground and incomplete. But you got to think that sooner or later, they're going to hit one of those. But the coverage has been excellent thus far. And it was again on the last play. On second and 10, Prescott. And he can't find a receiver, and he's brought down. That was Justin Reed, the safety who got to the quarterback. We are seeing two really confident defenses imposing their will on these offenses in this game. Yeah, absolutely, going toe for toe. Just curious if one of these offenses can wake up a little bit. Is there any way they can find something that can pop, something big to knock them back on their heels?
He's checked it. He's checked it. He's checked it. Well, the offense knew it. They were already starting to walk back as that one is accepted. After the delay, they're backed up even further for third and long. To throw is Prescott. He'll fire this deep for Gallup. And unable to connect. Incomplete. Now give them credit. They took their shot, but it's going to bring up fourth down. Oh, that's going to hurt a bit because they needed to come through with a completion there. Now a drive that started with great field position is facing fourth down. Now Prescott on fourth down. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert, and they turn it over. A surprising move to go for it. Predictably, at least somewhat predictably, it doesn't pay off. And the Chiefs will have the football back in excellent field position. Going top shelf for Smith-Schuster. And this is taken in at the five. And they do get him down, but not before he's able to slip it inside the five-yard line. They'll try and run for it on first and goal. And he will push his way forward down to about the three-yard line. So the ball position now at the three. Here's second and goal. And they'll run again. Pushing for the end zone, but he's not going to get there. They stop him just shy of the goal line. This Cowboy defense trying to hold him out of the end zone. They've run it to third and goal. They'll try to run this one in. And he gets halfway there down to the one-yard line. They'll try and run for it. And he takes this into the end zone for a Chiefs touchdown. Isaiah Pacheco taking it in from a yard out. And the Chiefs' decision to go for it pays off with six points. Extra point by Butker is on target. And they take the lead here at 7-6. to six. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. This will be brought out from the middle of the end zone. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped it to 23. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. Charles, we'll see how this offense responds. Remember the last time they were out, they went for it on fourth down, did not get it, and that led to a touchdown on the other side. So they need a response here. They certainly do, and I just have a question for you. You think that was a gut feel, or was that analytics that came into play there deciding to go for it on fourth down? That felt like gut to me. What about you? Yeah, absolutely, because the way it backfired, where they are in the game, all those things, that didn't feel like an analytics call. That certainly felt like, hey, I bet we can get this right now. And unfortunately, it didn't work out for them. Nothing open downfield. He keeps it himself for 11 and a first down. Inside give to Elliott. And some solid footwork there as he'll take this down to about the 38. Play action now, Prescott. And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. Picked up by Juan Thornhill. And the Chiefs are going to get the football back as time will run out in this third quarter of play. So it'll be a change of possession on the turnover when we get back. We'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Mahomes will lead the Chiefs up first and 10 right at the 50-yard line. From the midfield stripe, they'll look to throw. Flushed out right. And he'll be taken down here just shy of the 30. Let's blow it up. 
It hasn't been the cleanest game for him, but there was a sign of improvement as he looks towards the next one. Nice bit of scrambling to move the sticks, and even more importantly, he didn't risk adding another interception to his ledger. And he's going to take this one down to the 25. It's a seven-yard carry to set them up with a second and three. All right, that's a decent game there, but it hasn't been his best game overall. So I wonder what the mindset is of his team. Do they want him to handle the football and try and close this game out? Or are they going to make an alternative plan and maybe go in a different direction? Uh, I think they need him, and this is his time to shine. Flag accepted, and it backs the offense up a little bit. They are pushed back five yards by the delay of game, second and eight. They'll try and run some clock here as they keep it on the ground. And he'll be brought down at about the 25 after a pickup of four. On any running play that's called, they're always hoping that's going to break big and go the distance. But when you get a nice game like that, you're able to do so many things anyway. You can come back and run essentially the same play again, continue to move the ball on the ground, or you can decide to throw the ball now because usually you have the defense back on its heels. And he will have a Chiefs first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. On first down, they'll go to the ground attack. And he will take it on in for a Chiefs touchdown. Isaiah Pacheco. His second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Chiefs will add to their fourth quarter lead. Extra point by Butker is on target. And that will ensure that it will take a touchdown and a two-point conversion to tie it. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. From a yard or two deep, here comes a return. And he'll be stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a knee, maybe a yard shy of there at the 24. The Dallas offense here set to begin the drive. There's still plenty of time here in the fourth quarter. Just a one-possession game, down eight. They'll be looking for the touchdown and two-point conversion. A field goal here on this drive does very little at this stage. And he'll be out of bounds right at the 40. That play going for 16 yards to start the drive, first down. And that's not a play that you see all that often at the start of a drive, but some teams, they don't mind doing it. And that one, well sold by the offensive linemen. They showed the pass, and then they got out into space, able to get some good blocks downfield and allow the play to be successful. On play action, Prescott, they'll roll him out right. And nowhere to fit that football in. It's knocked away and incomplete. Another throw there off the mark, and obviously he's battled all of the interceptions. Things just haven't been true to form for him. I don't know. What do you think's going on out there, CD? That's a great question, and my suspicion is he's been coached really well to not show that he's having a problem. You know, they always tell you, no matter what, you keep throwing the football with confidence. Well, we're not seeing a confident thrower right now. He's off balance, the passing game's off balance, and the defense is taking advantage. To throw once more on second and 10. Prescott over the middle, hauled in by Lamb. And they're gonna get this up to midfield. And that's a more than acceptable read right there because it's zone coverage, so timing is everything. This time he waits for his man to come open, puts it right on him, and they pick up a first down. So the Cowboys in possession of the football here as we get you reset. They come up on a first and 10, desperately needing a score here on what could be their final drive. Prescott now from the 50. And he can't get a throw off. He's taken down. What a huge play at this point in the game. To throw Prescott. Now they go screen. It's complete. 
And the play goes nowhere. Losing yardage back near the 40 at the 39. Now the Cowboys going to burn the first of their timeouts as they'll talk it over here before what will be an important third down. Here's Dak. And that's intercepted yet again, and that could be the backbreaker. I think you and I were a little surprised back earlier in the game when he threw his second interception. I mean, who would have thought a quarterback of his caliber picked now five times? It's beyond stunning to me because we're used to that with maybe a quarterback with less experience or less talent, but a quarterback of his caliber? I can't believe what we've just seen. Absolutely. If you would have told me this coming into the ball game, I would have said never, not in a million years, but here we go. They'll start on the ground here on first down. And he works his way forward to pick up four yards there, second down. I have to chuckle to myself a little bit, Brandon, because right now I could be in that huddle with that offensive line. I know exactly what they're saying. If you call a pass play here, we're going to call timeout. Run the football. <laughs> We've got control of this thing. Get in behind us and let's go. Their time to shine. Second down, McKinnon. be brought down it looks like right at the 40. Nine yards to pick up there and it's a first down. And there we saw one of the downsides of blitzing during a rundown because sometimes you get out of your gaps you don't fit the run quite as well because you're headed towards the ball carrier with abandon. Victory in the cards now for the Chiefs as they take a knee here. 